Do you treat your dog as part of the family? <laughs> well, so do we. So why not celebrate your pup's birthday with the ultimate party box? Check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Party Pup Info, and let us make your pup's party or any celebration perfection. Only filmed here out of Indie Music TV. We want to thank everybody for joining us. We are humbled as we're going into a fantastic long weekend, but we're starting off with one of your favorites. Yeah. Big Ron Shaw. Ron, how are you, buddy? Hey, guys. Yes, thank you very much for inviting me to the show. Uh, but you know something? Right out of the gate, I have to say something here. You know, I've been aware of your guys, you guys, your show, and it happens to be the most controversial wrestling show, and if not the only controversial wrestling show that, that I have viewed. And I did see your show last week. And you know mm -hmm. something, Monty? I, mm -hmm. I needed to call you. And, you know, you guys did call me to come on your show. But you know something? When we were talking, I needed to lay down some ground rules. And, uh, you know, some of the questions that you said that you were going to ask me on this show tonight, it just wasn't appropriate to me. I didn't want to do it. But you were insisting on it. And I'll tell you something. I had to hang up on you. Now, your listeners ought to know one thing. Why did you lie? I hung up on you. Are you afraid to admit that? Now, when I hung up on you three days later, the Pharaoh gives me a call. And he says, Big Ron, we want you on the show. We worked everything out. We want you on the show. And I called you up. And I said, okay. I'll, ha I'll be happy to do the show. But you know, another thing, Monty, one thing you said, well, I don't care to have Ron Shaw on the show. You know, he's been on other wrestling shows. I don't care. You know, I won't chase him down or nothing like that. Let me tell you something right now. In front of you, I am the only person, past, present, and future, who's got the most upsets in professional wrestling. Let me repeat myself. I've got the most upsets in professional wrestling. And that's something that the WWE has put me in. Their, 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 their big sports books of entertainment, their history books of the Big 50. I'm in the history books of professional wrestling because of that. Okay? So, Ron, I'm going to respectfully... Hey, hey, shut up. I'm not done talking yet. Whoa. Are you fucking kidding me? What's going up. on here? Are you fucking kidding me right now? Easy, bro. Yo, Ron, no, let, let me, wait, wait, hold on, Ron. I had to go through to get on your show, Monty. You shut up and you just listen to me. <laughs> I never had to go through stuff like this before on one of other shows. I've been on 15 shows in the last seven years, and these five, five wrestling shows, yours is the one that gave me the most problems. I want to be asked decent questions throughout this whole entire show. Has he seen our show? Well, dude, uh, uh, listen, Ron, okay, I'm going to say this again. Understand that I don't think I lied to you, and I, you're gonna, if you're going to do our show, and I'm saying this respectfully, I'm going to ask questions, we're going to ask questions, and you're going to have to you'll either answer them or don't answer them. I'm okay with that. Look, I, I don't want... I don't want any issues, dude. We try to respect guys your level, but understand something that this is my show, okay? This is our show. And our show. Our but show. if you're going to, you know, if you're going to look, dude, here's the deal. Yeah, you're right. I really look with all due respect, you're 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 a legend in the business. I get it, whatever else. But again, I'm not going to retread all the garbage that's been out there already, right? We've heard the story already. And uh, look, dude, Show me the respect I'm trying to show you. That's all I'm trying that's, to say to you. That's fair. Is that fair? That's fair. I gave you the respect. I, you know, I gave you the respect when I called you and I talked to you and I said, let's, let's, let's do this show a sophisticated way. No trash talk, nothing like this. Let's not talk about other issues I've talked on 15, 14 other shows because there's other issues to talk about with Big Ron Shaw. Well, go ahead, buddy. This is genuinely uh, yeah. a great guy. He was awesome. But let me ask you, Ron, since in the land of Ron Shaw, rosiness, um, Rosie? Dale Cole, who's been on the show, he's the brother of Tom Cole, who uh, actually took his life about a year ago, uh, had issues with sexual harassment and sued the WWE. Um, there was, it was called the Ring Boy Scandal. Mel Phillips and Terry Garvin... Um, did you ever hear about these ring boy scandals? Did you see this stuff going on? And did you see Mel Phillips and Terry Garvin 
doing this type of stuff? Well, you know, here we go again. Here we go again. You're, you're, again, this is a question that you said you were going to pose to me on the show, and and I didn't want to. I didn't want to answer this this here. I mean, this this is a little bit of a of something that's been in the past already. I don't think your listening audience is interested in hearing about this, especially out of my lips. I don't know nothing about that because you know I minded my own business. Okay, I minded my own business. We had David San Martino in studio. Oh, here we. Go. Maybe uh, his only goes. interview. Oh, here he goes. Doesn't what? Matter. All right. I, I, go. I'm rooting Whatever. that he, he answers. He clears his story. Uh, Listen. No, let no, me no, let no, me no, just no, ask no, the no, question. No, Can I ask no, the question? I've been asked this question fifteen times. I've been asked this question, and I've given the same answers. Why don't you just go back and Google my other shows that I was on? There's fourteen other shows. But go ahead. Go All ahead. Right. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead. Okay. First of all, you're on Long Island's number one pro wrestling broadcast. But so instead, here's the question I'm going to ask you. Instead of with the kayfabe bullshit and acting like he hurt his back, uh, why don't you finally reveal to the fans that Sam Martino told you what was going to happen and you, and you did what you had to do because that was your role and stop keeping this story that you go for show to show to going on. Admit it on this show. Right. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to tell you something right now. Mm -hmm. First of all, what I'm going to say about David San Martino, when he came into the WWF, he was probably the strongest, if not the strongest wrestler that I've ever seen. And especially when you combine that with a great wrestling talent and knowledge of holds and counter holds, this, made this, this guy was really a super, super star. But on a fateful night, in November 1985, after two big slugs behind the back, behind his head, six or seven body slams later, which nobody can take, he walked out of that ring holding his back, and he heard it on his show. He said, I heard his back. I was the better man that night. Now, if you want to believe what he said, you go right ahead and believe what he said. But I said all I can say about it is that, and, and, and here's another thing, you Google Anywhere, YouTube, Vimeo, or any other search engine, and watch that match and see the comments below. 99.9% .9 of the fans back Big Ron Shaw, and they know what happened. And they, some people, that want that small percentage, they say, well, Ron Shaw stepped in the ring. He, you can see he's telling Dusty Feldbomber to finish. I remember exactly what I said to Dusty Feldbomber just to prove you wrong and some of the other fans wrong. Is I said, hey, Dusty, it looks like a good sellout tonight. That's what I said. I wasn't telling him any finish because you know what? I had in my mind what I was going to do that night because when I heard some type of a rumor going on in that dressing room, I did what I was going to do, the right thing. Now, I hope that answers your question, Monty, Mr. Well, wise Guy. Well, let me try it another way. Let me try it this way. Hello, Ron. Oh, no. Did David San Martino really hurt you? It's the kid across the or pond. Or not? You or did you give it up, Ron? You punk. You punk. Oh, I'm a punk. Let me tell you something. Ooh. It wasn't taking oh, no boy. more than two and a half hours to fly down there no. and slap your no. face all over that no, damn studio. You no. understand me? I'm done. Not I'm done. done. Come on, man. Pharaoh, Come on, Ron. Man. You were the man. Bye, Ron. Bye, Ron. interview buddy good choice that guy was a gentleman <laughs> that was a gentleman for you everybody the matt, great ron shaw wait a minute matt the great ron shaw did he did he did he hang up and just disappear just now yeah congratulations never again ladies and gentlemen the great ron shaw Anyway, the first leg of the Monty and the Farrow Marathon didn't turn out the way it was supposed to be. Look, man, I'm not angry at you, okay? I don't know what well. I did to piss that dude off. I don't get it. Okay, what I told the story is the truth, but whatever. I want to thank Ron Shaw for at least coming on the show. Thank you. Thank you for answering the questions. Congratulations. Anyway. <sighs> um,